So we're going to continue to remove the back fender. And I, originally I thought we could just loosen this off and get the uh, needed space to re remove the air box, aka rear fender, which is what I'm working on. But um, apparently it's got to be removed completely. <laughs> I'll admit it's a little bit more of a hassle, but um, if it's the way it's done, it's the way it's done. So we'll just follow, follow what is expected. There's a connector up here, which will disconnect. And that will remove the fender, so there's no chance that we can scratch, break, or damage it, of course, leave it with me and possibly it will happen. All right, sweet. So I'm gonna bring the bike up a touch here. Yeah, you're not supporting on this one. not on the frame. It's like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Lower the swing arm down so we can actually pivot the air box down and away from the hazard of being hung up on it. And voila, she is a don like that. One of the nicest things about this particular box from Triumph is um, you can use this as a viewfinder. You'll notice <laughs> I, I'm actually looking at a lovely beach. There's palm trees in the distance. Oh, is that Kim Kardashian? No. <laughs> sorry, not, not, not for all family. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's the airbox. It's out of there. And uh, now we can move on to the next, next step.